guys welcome to my channel how's it going i hope you're all doing really really well today you need to get a cup of tea and get some toast or a snack or something because this video is going to be long because we're going through my eyeshadow palette collection there's two big drawers um this is going to be a bit of a declutter as well so if there's something i don't use anymore or don't like or is too old I'm gonna get rid of it and um, i will be doing a giveaway at the end of some of the palettes if people want them um but yeah we're just gonna jump in so if you like these kind of videos you know what to do give this one a thumbs up you should definitely subscribe to my channel we should be friends um yeah let's just jump in and look at some palettes right the first one i've got is a primark one it's the primark nudes palette this was super affordable um, I wasn't expecting to like it, but I really, really do. It's lovely. I would definitely recommend this. Um, it's a really nice one for if you're going on holiday and you just want something simple because you've got really nice transition colours. You've got a little bit of colour with the pink and a peach and a purple, and then you've got one really lovely shimmer. So definitely recommend if you see this, pick it up because it's really nice. Next up, we've got a Bad Habit Beauty palette. This is the Aura palette. These, all my Bad Habit Beauty palettes were sent to me by one of my subscribers, Jeanette in America. And she sent me a humongous box and it was just amazing. It was like the nicest present, couldn't believe it. And she sent me lots and lots of Bad Habit Beauty palettes. Um, this is the Aura one. I have just filmed a look with this, which will be going up on my channel at some point in the future. It's a really, really pretty palette. These are 10 pounds each or $10 each really affordable super good quality i'll just sort of give you an idea <sighs> like really really pretty palettes really pretty colors and it is a dupe for one of the anastasia beverly hills palettes but i can't remember which one if i remember i'll put it on the screen so yeah that's that one if um i have done a video on a palette i will link it above um, but not all the palettes I have have had videos done on them, so we will just press on. Okay, next up we've got a Morphe palette. This is the Morphe 25A palette. Um, I think this is about £22. I got this from Beauty Bay and I use it a lot. It's a really nice everyday palette. I tend to use um, these two here and then stick one of these three on my lid just for an everyday kind of look you can't really go wrong with morphe eyeshadows in my opinion they blend nicely and they're good quality like, this is just like the most lovely transition color i love it and like look at the shimmer metallic so so nice next up i've got the soph extra spice palette this is makeup revolution makeup revolution are one of my all-time favorite makeup brands um and i haven't had one of these palettes yet that i don't like um i've got three like this and i love them all um i don't even know what to swatch let's just do a little swatch -a i'm not going to swatch every single um palette really lovely the silver especially and i am a warm toned girl but i love the silver in this palette really really pretty 10 pounds i'll link it down below definitely worth it Got another makeup revolution palette this is the makeup revolution and tammy collab um really pretty i didn't like this black i thought it was a bit pants but the rest of the palette i think is amazing really really lovely i'm all over this shit here this orangey color here is just gorgeous so pretty again i will link it for you i am going through these quite quickly otherwise this video is it's going to be like half an hour 45 minutes long and ain't nobody got time for that nobody's got time for that okay uh, next up is one of the first palettes i ever bought it is a flossy sunflower palette this is from aliexpress and it is a wannabe kylie palette um i'm actually going to give this one away so if you want this one comment down below um and uh, like a week after i put it up I'll just pick people who said they wanted it and I'll pick someone and send it to you because I've got lots of other palettes that do the same thing 
Um, it is really pretty. I will just sort of give you an idea. It's really, really pigmented eyeshadows. But I have got other palettes that have the same eyeshadows in, basically. So um, I'm trying to declutter before we move house. So if you want it, comment down below that you want the flossy palette. You might get it. Someone's going to get it. I'm just going to choose someone. Uh, next up, we've got the Makeup Revolution 1 Million palette. This is really pretty. I actually think I got this as a freebie when I bought the... I bought the Tammy palette and then maybe a mascara or something. You had to spend over £15 and you got this for free. A really pretty palette, but this is not something that I use, so I'll be giving this one away. Um, I have swatched them, but you can see they're like barely touched at all, just because I don't like purple eyeshadow on me. Um, so this isn't one that I would have chosen to buy, but it was a freebie. So yeah, if you want the 1 million palette, I'm not going to, if someone comments and says they want every single palette, I'm not going to give some one person all the palettes. Just I'm just going to give each person who picks or who wants on one palette. You can't have all of them because that's just being greedy. So, yeah, if you want this one. There's a pigeon in the garden. The dog just wanted you to know. Pigeon in the garden. Okay. Um, next up is a Too Faced palette. Um, this was like my first ever high-end palette. My mum bought me the holiday collection, which I think was called like the Holiday Hotel or something, 2016 Christmas, and it had a gingerbread, cook gingerbread latte, eggnog, no, gingerbread cookie, eggnog latte, and I want to say candy cane was the other one, but I've kept this one um, for this. This colour here is called Ginger Snap, and it is so pretty it's a really soft beautiful gold also the bronzer in it is a really nice bronzer it's the, the bronzer is called gingerbread um and i really like that and it's just a really nice cute little palette excuse my neighbor's dog i think he's seen the pigeon as well and it's getting cross about it Next up is my Stila Mind palette. This is the first high-end palette I ever bought myself. I think it was £40 and when I bought it I was just like <gasps> couldn't actually believe I'd spent that much on an eyeshadow palette. <laughs> but I have loved it. I've used it so much. I got it for this colour here which is called Perception and it is just the most beautiful terracotta orange and I love red smoky eyes i just love them so i've used that a lot don't tend to use these ones down here but this bottom five is a lot and the the actual um the cream color is actually really nice um it's a really nice sort of opaque ivory which i really love but it was expensive and i did feel sick after i bought it <laughs> Uh, I've got another high-end one. This is the Lunatic Cosmetics and this is the Elvira palette. This was sent to me by a subscriber who wishes to remain anonymous. Um, this, I think, is around about £23. It's got six eyeshadows, so it is expensive for, like, per eyeshadow. But it is really pretty and if you're a collector or an Elvira fan, I think it's worth it because the packaging is just so cool. That is a keeper. Uh, next up, we've got a Too Faced Natural Love palette. This is probably the biggest palette I own. This was sent to me by my subscriber, Laura. Um, this has been used a lot. I absolutely love this palette. Um, I think it's a really good all-round palette because you've got some warm colours down here. You've got some purples. You've got some cool tones. You've got some baby pinks. And then you've just got some neutrals as well. So it's a really nice palette. And the colours are just... Let's just swatch a few... The really pretty and nice Too Faced eyeshadows are always nice quality from my experience. Um, yeah, you can't really go wrong, but it is an expensive one. So, it's kind of if you want to justify it or if you feel like you would use it a lot. And I, I do use it a lot. 
Uh, another Too Faced palette. Um, this is the Too Faced in Cat 1D. I don't use Cat 1D anymore, so that has been given to someone else. Um, but I kept the Too Faced side for this colour alone. Um, it is, it's called Heart of Gold, and it is the most perfect green gold. I absolutely love it. So, yeah, I am... Um, I don't use Kat, Kat Von D stuff anymore. Um, and I did send all of my Kat Von D goodies that I had to one of my subscribers because she wanted to try them. And I said, all right then, chick. And I sent them to her. Uh, next up, we've got two e.l.f. eyeshadow palettes. They're both the Mad for Map. We've got uh, Nude Mood and Summer Breeze. So you've got Nude Mood. And if I can open it. Summer Breeze really really pretty palettes i love these eyeshadows elf eyeshadows i really like um they blend nicely they're affordable i think these are around about i think about 10 pounds a palette um and they're teeny weeny like they are they are microscopic little teeny weeny palettes so they're so good for if you're going away like if i'm going away for the weekend i would generally take this one which is the summer breeze um and like you've got really nice transition colours here. You've got a little bit of colour with the, the pink and then the purple if you want it. Some black that you can use as a liner. And then I will sometimes just take like a highlighter for my cheeks. And then I'll put that across my lid if I want a bit of shimmer. But I really love e.l.f. eyeshadows. And then the last one in this box is my Morphe. What are you? 35R palette. This is very similar to my 25A palette. But it's got more of the mattes and more of the shimmers so i'm keeping it i love it um this is like a go-to kind of one in the winter i'll tend to use like these kind of colors and then just do like a gold on my lid or one of the sort of champagne -y colors and they're so pretty it's ridiculous like so pretty um i think i want to say these are about 20 25 pounds maybe maybe less than that i'll put it on the screen if you can remember but they are definitely worth it they're so good so yes okay next box i've got a uh, revolution uh, makeup revolution love conquers all palette i don't reach for this the only one i use it is the highlighter but i've actually got a makeup revolution highlighter that looks like this it's pink and it is pew it's like a gorgeous pink but i just don't use it so this is gonna this is gonna be given away um so if you want the makeup revolution love conquers all palette let me know i've got two makeup revolution palettes i feel bad giving my makeup revolution stuff away because i love them i love them but i've just got so many i don't need them all uh next up is a tz cosmetics palette i got this um from aliexpress just jammed my nail in that one lovely i use this a lot when i was doing my 31 days of halloween they're um they're not colors i reach for a lot but they are amazing like they're so pigmented it's redonkalonk um and i think I think this is around about six quid or something, which is amazing. So, yes. I'm just saying, oh, uh, yes, a lot, aren't I? Good booty. Well done. Um, what are we can do next? The next Ultimate Brights palette. Um, th again, this is really handy when I'm doing, um, like special effects or costume makeup. I don't use it otherwise. <laughs> Occasionally, I'll use the yellow, but it's generally just for special effects stuff but I will be keeping it because I am doing more Halloweeny stuff this year um this is my all-time favorite palette which is the Soph Does Nails Makeup Revolution original palette you can see how well loved this is I use it all the time cup of tea is like my all-time favorite um transition color it is just perfect I absolutely love it um if I'm just wanting a day of not doing a lot I will put cup of tea in my crease and then I will just put uh, either this one or this one on my lid like one of the golds um and like if i'm going away for a week or so this is what i'll take 
that is what I'm chucking in my bag. And I really feel like I might need to get a second one in case I break it because I would be very sad if I broke it. Okay, next up we've got a NYX palette. This is actually a blush palette, but I use it as eyeshadow. Um, I do like when items can be used for dual purpose and this can. Um, you've got a shimmery one here and a shimmery one here and then the rest are mattes. I just really like it. I don't use it as blush, but as eyeshadow, I think it's awesome and you can make a really nice look using it. Uh, next up, we've got a Tarte. Um, this is the Swamp Queen palette. I um, I bought one of these from eBay that was sold to me as real. And as soon as I opened it, I knew it was fake and I was gutted because I'd spent about like £27 on it. And I think the real one is like 35 So I spent a lot on it. And the girl that was selling it was like adamant it was real. But it was just shocking quality. It was so bad. I knew it wasn't real. So she gave me my money back. And I saved up. And I bought the real one. And this is the reason why this colour called Dogman is like the most gorgeous red terracotta brown beautifulness. I just love it. And then you've got the... Um, the shimmers as well are also gorgeous really really lovely like you can see all my favorite palettes are all warm toned because i love warm tones i think you're either a warm toned person or a cool toned and i'm definitely warm toned well i am trying to get better and do more cool tone that is a lip product that shouldn't be in there next up we've got another bad habit beauty this is the retro love palette this is awesome um this colour called Icon. It's just amazing. That is all I've got to say on that one. £10. £10. So good. Such good value. Go and have a look because they're awesome. Next up we've got Fenty. This is the Galaxy palette. Ben got me this last year for my birthday. And you can see it. It's been well used. I love it. I, um, I use these generally because they are toppers. So I'll generally put on eyeshadow and then just put one of these over the top if I want a bit of sparkle. But they aren't like, I think people bought them thinking they were going to be like really opaque. And some of them are, but they are meant to go over eyeshadows quite a lot of them. It is called like a top palette and like you can't do like a full look with it because it is, everything is glittery. There is nothing in it that doesn't have glitter in it. So if you don't like glitter, like look, you can see how much glitter don't like glitter you're not gonna like this but i love me some glitter okay uh, what's next we've got i heart makeup this is the um, this is basically a dupe for the Too faced sweet peach palette which i couldn't afford um i would still really love to get it but it, just not at the moment because we're buying a house and money needs to be spent on house stuff and not makeup um but i really really like it i think it's lovely I had a, um, a fake Too Faced palette and this was so much better, like so much better, but like it's so pretty, really pretty pinks um, and I think peach suits every skin tone, I don't think, I can't imagine there being a skin tone that it doesn't suit, like peachy colours just look gorgeous on everybody, everyone looks nice and the packaging is just super cute, my voice hurts! Right, next up, oh, it's another one of the Too Faced um, from the hotel one. This is the Eggnog Latte palette. Um, I don't know why I've kept this. Because I don't use it. That's weird. So I'm going to give this one away. It has been used, but it's only been used, like, um, when I was doing special effects kind of stuff. So it's really pretty. If you want the Eggnog palette, just say some more um bad habit beauties we've got the after dark palette which is just all the warm toned lushness it's just yes like ooh, yes keeping that we've got the aftershock palette which is very similar to the nyx ultimate brights but this has got metallics so i am going to keep this as well and then finally, we've got the Beauty Killer. Is it Beauty Killer? Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette. I bought this myself last year from Beauty Bay. 
and I don't like it. The gold's amazing, but it is just, I looked at it and I thought it was just like the most beautiful palette. You can see how little it's been used by the fact that all the stars are still there. Um, this one stained my eyes so badly, so badly. I had pink eyes for like three days. It was ridiculous. Um, but I just don't use it. So if you want it, comment down below and I'll pick someone in about a week. Um, I will put the proper, I'll put a proper date on and say, right, this is the last date I'm letting people pick. But yeah, I was, um, this was like the second high end palette I bought, like the first being the Steeler, no third, then the Swamp Queen. And then I was like, yeah, I want it. Just use it once. Just not for me at all. Really pretty colours, but it's literally in the bottom of all my palettes. I just don't use it. So yeah, that was it. So you've got the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer, Too Faced Eggnog Latte. Makeup Revolution Love Conquers All, Makeup Revolution One Million, and the Flossy Sunflower. So, if you want any of those, comment down below. That was my palette collection. We've done a bit of a clear out, and we've got one, two, three, four. I'm getting rid of five, so that's quite good. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what your favourite palette is, because now I've got rid of some. Once we've moved, and I can save some money, I need some more. So yeah, bye guys.